After leading Arkansas State to a bowl win along with the Sun Belt Conference Championship, I received a contract offer to coach for Stanford as their offensive coordinator. I was excited to coach for a prestigious school and I knew if I could turn their program around that I would most likely get a lot better opportunities from another school later on down the road. Stanford's roster was really slow and the offense would be getting led by a sophomore quarterback along with the junior running back. Also a disclaimer, the appearance of my head coach changed and I don't know how it happened. Our first game would see us taking on the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. Like with Arkansas State, I didn't know what I was getting with this team so I decided to let Ari Patu throw the ball in the first play, which led to a terrible incompletion, and on the very next play, he followed it up with an interception. I proceeded to yell at him in front of the entire team. Luckily, our defense was able to hold the Golden Eagles to zero points, but I made sure I let Ari know how upset I was by cussing him out on the sidelines the entire time, which must have lit a fire underneath him because he started off the next possession with two great plays to get us down the field quick, and he was able to cap off the drive with the Benjamin Eurosec touchdown right down the seam. It was a tie game with less than two minutes left, and I made sure that our offense had a great two-minute scheme as I let Ari Patu run the ball whenever he felt he needed to and he was able to bust out to the left side and get this big gain for 22 yards. Only a couple plays later was he able to make this beautiful pass to Benjamin Urasek and he was able to yet again get in the end zone. The game was tied late in the third quarter so I told Ari to throw the ball as hard as he can towards Silas Starr which he was able to do and make a great completion and which led us to getting a touchdown and taking the lead. I made sure the head coach knew that I called that amazing play. We were able to hold that lead going into the third quarter and late in the fourth quarter our defense was trying to stop the Golden Eagles from scoring which they were able to do here on this fourth down possession which led to the first win of our season and in my first win as a Stanford Cardinal. We wouldn't waste any time going into Pac-12 play as we opened up our next game going against number 16 ranked Washington in which we were down three going into the second quarter. With our offense struggling, I made sure I called this amazing play in which Ari Patula found Benjamin Yurasek wide open for a second straight touchdown to open the game and EJ Smith was able to get a first down on the following possession and EJ was able to follow it up when Ari found him streaking down the middle and he was able to get a nice completion for a good amount of yards. Ari was getting more comfortable in the offense and after taking a huge hit from a Washington defensive lineman, he made a beautiful pass to Urasek, who was able to get close to the end zone, and I made a great call a few plays later to get him in the end zone. After we scored, our defense was able to get a fumble recovery for a touchdown, which put us up 11 points, and after this John Humphreys big play for another touchdown, we were able to go up 18 late in the third. We were able to hold on to that lead for the rest of the game as we got our first win against a ranked opponent this season. We would continue the trend of playing Washington teams in the Pac-12 as our next game would be against 0-3 Washington State, so we made sure that we got off to a hot start with yet again another Benjamin Urasek touchdown. I was starting to get more comfortable calling plays for Ari to scramble with the ball and he was able to do that here and get a first down. That possession would end up getting us three points and with a minute left in the second quarter we had to make sure we got big plays so I told Ari to do nothing but throw the ball down the field which he did multiple times getting us close to the red zone territory of Washington State. After leading us down the field Ari made this amazing beautiful throw to John Humphreys who got us a touchdown and I was impressed with that throw so I let him take the top off yet again passing to Moody Rubin who was able to catch it and get a touchdown leading to us going up by 14 points. It was at that point that I knew that we had to run out the clock and that's exactly what we did as we got our second win of the season. Our third game would lead to our biggest game yet as we're playing number three Utah in their home state. Our offense struggled throughout the entirety of the first half as this field goal was the only points that we got on the board going down four into halftime. So the head coach and I made sure that we had a great pep talk for the boys at halftime. Coming out of the half, our defense was playing great and got another stop which led to Patu rolling out to the left and throwing this beautiful pass to Moody Rubin which he was able to take all the way for a touchdown to get us a lead. Luckily for me, Ari rolled out to the right and found Moody Rubin for another big play in which he was able to break away from defense and take it all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. After being unable to convert the two-point conversion, we were down by one heading into the last minute of the game in which Ari had this great scramble to start off our drive and which led to getting us close to the midfield territory. Our comeback hopes were dashed though as the refs called this inbound and let the clock tick all the way down which led to our first loss of the season. We were glad to be playing home ball against Oregon State back in Stanford and I needed my offense to get off to a hot start early so luckily Ari was able to avoid this three and out right off the bat with this huge scramble in which he followed it up later on the drive with an amazing amazing pass to our receiver over the middle for our first touchdown of the game. Our offense had still been struggling in the first half and EJ Smith fumbled the ball with 50 seconds left in the first half, so after staring him daggers on the sideline, we went into halftime down three points. Our defense gave up a touchdown immediately to Oregon State, which put us down double digits and they doubled our score, so I told Ari to air out the ball yet again, and after that amazing play, we ended up getting stopped on third and goal, which led to us getting three points, and on the following possession, I told Ari to yet again continue throwing the ball deep, which he did here, connecting with Silas Starr for a huge gain and a touchdown. After after our defense stopped Oregon State from scoring, we were able to get the ball back and Benjamin Urasek caught this pass here which he was able to take all the way down for a touchdown. We held on to the lead from there, winning the game, and these were the current standings for the Pac-12 North. We would be in conference play yet again as we were hosting Arizona State and I knew our offense had to get off to a fast start so I wasn't happy when Ari threw this wide open fourth down and on the very next possession, EJ Smith ended up getting safety. Before I knew it, we were down 16 points going into the second quarter. I needed Ari to pull off a great play, so I looked good in front of coach, and luckily 
he connected here with John Humphreys, who was able to break away from a defender and take it all the way down close to the end zone. A few plays later, Ari made this beautiful read, which led to a touchdown. Ari had been playing really well up until this point, so I let him air out the ball, which did not work as it got intercepted on our very next possession. We found ourselves down 23-7, so luckily Ari found Robinson for this pass here, which led to an EJ Smith, the fourth touchdown right up the middle. I don't know what it was this game, but our defense could not stop Arizona State whatsoever, and we found ourselves down 15 points close to the fourth until Ari Patu ran out to the right and found our receiver in the end zone. But yet again, our defense gave up another score as we were down 11 still with three minutes left in the fourth. Being down multiple possessions with only a couple minutes left in the game, I told Ari to continue throwing the ball up and Moody Rubin came down with this touchdown here, but it didn't matter as on the following possession, we got sacked, which resulted in a loss. We were looking to get back on track against Notre Dame, but my offense had been so one-dimensional this year that we had no running attack whatsoever. And after EJ Smith was unable to get a first down on an easy play to the right side, I decided to bench him for the rest of the game and put in Brendan Barrow, who was our lowest rated running back, but he was also the quickest, which was not saying much, trust me. And thankfully, with less than two minutes in the first half, I called an amazing play, which got our receiver wide open. After yelling at the team throughout the entirety of halftime, Ari started off the third with the interception, so I decided to yell at the team even more. I told my team to put their bodies on the line as we found ourselves down 10 late in the third, which led to Brendan Barrow getting his first touchdown of his collegiate career. We still found ourselves down three in the fourth, and Brendan Barrow hadn't been able to do anything up until this point, and I was getting worried for our running attack for the rest of the season, as it seems like our only offense so far was through Ari Patu, as he proved here by running the read option perfectly and getting a touchdown leading to us taking a lead and I was pleased on the sidelines. From there we sat and watched as the Notre Dame offense rode all the way down the field and they let the quarterback scramble out to the outside, break a tackle and end up getting in the end zone. So we had to yet again drive down the field with limited time left and Benjamin Yurasek was trying to make that happen. I called the read option with 30 seconds left in which Ari read it perfectly leading to the game winning touchdown and we were finally back in the winner's column. The most difficult game was yet to come as we were playing away against number 10 Oregon and if we wanted any chance of winning the Pac-12 championship we would have to beat them this game. So thankfully for me, my offense got the first touchdown of the game, but it didn't matter as we were down late in the second quarter and Ari made this terrible read which resulted in an interception and the head coach started questioning my play calling abilities because that interception would lead to us going down seven and a half time and instead of getting better, things only got worse as Ari made another terrible read at the beginning of the third quarter leading to this interception which he took all the way back for a pick six. I made sure to cuss out Ari in his headset the rest of the game. I began getting nervous about my job security and if it wasn't for the defense, we probably wouldn't even be five and two and even after this Ari Patu big scramble for a touchdown it didn't matter as we ended up losing the game luckily for us we were back in sunny California in which we got off to a quick start against 18 UCLA as Ari continued making amazing passes and I made sure the entire team knew how pumped I was our lead was able to hold out through the rest of the game as our defense only gave it 10 points and we ended up killing the clock unfortunately for me though we had the number one team in the nation USC coming to Stanford where they brought their top 10 offense in every single category I knew if we were going to win this game I'd have to stop worrying about the defense and call some great plays on offense and Ari Patu was able to find Benjamin Yurasek for the first touchdown of the game. The game was quiet on both sides of the ball as we were only up 10 with 10 seconds left in the second quarter, but Ari Patu rolled out right and found Silas Sar for this 55-yard reception, which has resulted in us getting three points and going up 13 at halftime. To begin the fourth quarter, we were able to take another field goal, which put us up 16, and I was telling my offense that we had control of this game. USC would finally answer back as they got eight points on their next possession, and I knew that we had to continue to run out the clock, and with a couple first downs, we were able to do that, and we were able to take down the number one team in the nation in USC. Even with the big win, the head coach was not impressed with my coaching abilities as we had the 81st offense in the nation. I was hoping against California that we'd be able to get off to a fast start so head coach would stop breathing down my neck, but after that interception, we were down 10 points in the second quarter, so luckily Eurosec made this great play, but tragedy would strike on the next play as Ari Patu threw this terrible interception, and I noticed on the next drive that he wasn't in the game and we had our backup in. I was worried about Ashton Daniels as I didn't know how good he was, so I was going to be calling conservative plays for the rest of the game as Ari was going to be out of the game with a mild concussion. I made sure to pull out our go two plays for Ashton as we found Eurosec streaking down the middle and Ashton was able to find our running back for this play here which he actually broke a tackle for the first time in what seems like all season getting close to the end zone and he was given the ball in the next play getting us a touchdown and tying the game. I had some confidence going into the third so I let Ashton air the ball deep which was a terrible idea as he threw an interception and we were down seven going into the fourth quarter but EJ was able to get another touchdown and Ashton was able to find Moody Rubin wide open over the middle for this big gain and a few plays later he was able to find Silas Starr on an easy slant route which he was able to take all the way down to the house. With the four point lead, it was up to our defense to get a stop on fourth down, which they did, and we were able to walk out of the game with a win without our starting quarterback. Our last game of the regular season would see us taking on my former team, Arkansas State, and their offense was not as good as it used to be. I knew that we were the superior team, and with the head coach breathing down my neck, I wanted to use this game to pad all of our stats. At this point in the season, I knew we were a one dimensional team and had no rushing attack, so I continued to pass the ball throughout the entirety of the game, and that was working up until this point, as Ari had been playing an amazing game, and he was able to thread the needle yet again, leading to us going up 21, and on the next possession, 
we were able to score again before the half. And with two minutes left in the fourth quarter, we had our backups in, but we were still trying to run up the score even more, which we were able to do as Ashton Daniels found Jason Reigns for this touchdown here, and we were able to win the game 49 to 14. After that game, my job security had gone up 20%, and I was feeling a little bit better. And USC would end up beating Oregon in the Pac-12 championship, and we would find out that the Michigan State running back would win the Heisman, and we would be playing Boise State in the Las Vegas Bowl. Opening up our bowl game against number 19, Boise State, I knew that we had to get off to a fast start, and Ari found Silas Starr for this amazing pass down the middle, and he followed it up by finding John Humphreys here for a touchdown. On the next possession, Ari found Silas yet again down the middle, and he was able to make a great play out of nothing. And later on that drive, our backup tight end cooked his cornerback, which led to an easy touchdown going up by two possessions. Midway through the second quarter, we were driving down yet again, and Eurosec got the ball close to the end zone, and I called the read option for Ari to run perfectly, which he did. After going up 21 points with a minute left in the second quarter, I called this amazing play here, which got Silas Starr open, which he was able to take it down to the end zone, which led to us going up 28 points at halftime. The head coach and I were finally on talking terms again, as we ran out the ball for the majority of the second half, and we had our backups in by the end of the fourth quarter. I was ecstatic to win my first bowl game as a Stanford Cardinal. Ohio State would go on to beat Miami in the national championship, and I was just hoping the head coach would give me another contract extension and allow me to come back next year, because we had a lot of great recruits coming to town.